Welcome back to the Girlfriends and Goals podcast. My name is Samaria and I'm joined by my best friend and co-host, Miosha. And today we're doing another Am I the A-Hole reaction video slash podcast. So if you're interested in these, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube um, and let us know in the comments what your thoughts are. If you are listening to this on a podcast platform, um, feel free to rate us and leave a review. But also know that we have this YouTube community, so feel free to also join us here and comment and let us know your thoughts. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the first one. This one says, am I the a-hole if I uninvite my sister-in-law from my baby shower because she's infertile and is always sad about whenever we talk about babies? Oh. Yeah. Whew. I, 28-year-old female, am 29 weeks pregnant with fraternal twins, a boy and a girl. I was lucky enough to get pregnant almost immediately after going off birth control. My sister-in-law, 38-year-old female, who I'll call Jane, has fertility issues and has not been able to have a baby after more than a decade of trying multiple rounds of IVF. A few days ago, my family all came over to my house to hang out. I told them that I was finished decorating the nursery and my mom, sister, and other sister-in-law all wanted to see it, so I took them to see it. Jane looked unhappy when I mentioned the nursery, said that she'd rather not see it. She went out on the porch and we went inside. We stayed in the nursery for a while and eventually Jane came in because it was too hot. We're all talking about babies. Sister and other sister-in-law both have young children. Jane looked a bit uncomfortable with the conversation. My sister said that I was really lucky to get pregnant with twins right after I started trying. After that, Jane started crying and left the room. We all went after to talk to her and she said she feels awful having to constantly hear about our babies. Mm -hmm. She went on a long rant about how she feels excluded because she's the only one of us without a child now. She thinks our mom treats her like she's less than my sister and other sister-in-law because they have kids now, now that I'm pregnant. We don't talk about anything but kids. She said it's insensitive when we know that she's infertile. She was like this for all of my sister and sister-in-law's pregnancies. She insists on coming to all the gender reveals and baby showers and birthday parties but spends all of her time wallowing in her misery and even starts crying sometimes. I kind of want to uninvite her from my baby shower next week because I'm scared she'll just ruin the vibe. Would I be the a-hole if I did that? I feel bad for her, but she can't keep bringing all of her negativity into our celebrations. Mm -hmm. I told my mom that I want to uninvite her and she said I shouldn't because she's family and we need to support her instead of excluding her even more. Oh man, okay. If she does take back the invitation, which I think technically is supposed to be disinvite, but I just found this out as a grown adult. So <laughs> I did. Um, but I think she would be the a-hole. I get it, though, because this is a happy moment for her, and she doesn't want to take away from that. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take back the invitation. If she took it back, she would be the a-hole because she said that she's been like this for, for the everybody. other sister's pregnancy and mm -hmm. the other sister-in-law's pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And that this has been a routine thing for her since she's been trying for 10 years. So I would say if you knew that going into this, then why did, I would say, not that it would have been good, but I don't. It would have been better, even though I still think that it's a dicey situation. Mm -hmm. It would have been better to not invite her at all up front hmm. than to uninvite her. You knew this. I It's, it's bad I, all around. I why mean. did she invite her to see the nursery? Like, did it have to be a group activity? Could she not have just invited each person? And then so she said they were all hanging out at her house. And so I think they were just talking and she's like, oh, I finished the nursery. And so they, her and her sister and the other sister-in-law and maybe the mom, I don't know if the mom was there, but mm -hmm. they went to go see the nursery and, and Jane excused herself outside, but it got too hot. And I guess when she came back in, they were still talking about babies and nursery yeah. stuff. And so it oh. sounds like they were just hanging out at the house. She didn't have a special event but still, why why bring up? Oh, I'm done with the nursery. 
Why? I, I do think that is insensitive. And of course, like you don't want to have to walk on eggshells for your entire pregnancy, but this is one person. You can still be happy and giddy with everybody else to preserve her feelings. 10 years is a really long time to be trying for something like this and not, you know, being able to have that experience. So I don't think it's too much to go out of your way to be sensitive to her. And the type of conversations like, oh, how lucky you are to right. get pregnant. Why would you so it's not even just her. It's the other women What's too. Oh, you're so them? lucky to get pregnant so right after you moon. Right. Yeah, and you're having twins, a boy and a girl, what everyone wants. <laughs> and for context, so if you're 28 now, that means you were 18 when she this started. sister-in-law started yeah. trying to start her family. So to her, you're probably like a little a sister. Baby a baby you were a child when she was embarking on this initially and you know and now what you're starting your family a part of me also feels like because of the age you know how there are certain people who just don't get it like they don't get mm. how difficult it is for some people to it's like those those women who got married at like 21 <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, it's not even hard to find a suitable partner. It's so they, easy. They All I had out to do was issue. step outside my apartment door. It's like, girl, it, it's. I'm glad it happened so quickly for you, but you have to understand that everybody's experience is different. So I wonder if, because things happened so quickly for her, she has no way of relating and isn't even trying mm. to comprehend like the 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 grief that maybe the sister in law mm -hmm. is experiencing, um, and if she had been doing this with the other sister and sister in law, mm -hmm. I wonder if she's also maybe becoming immune because I'm sure they're probably having conversations amongst each other. Mm. Now I understand you don't want to tiptoe to the point where you can't even bring up babies or kids at all. Yeah. But if you know that she's the only one without children, there is other things to life other than babies and kids and that whole yeah. season. So I don't know. Uh, I Ooh. get wanting to fully enjoy your season. But I also think talking about how easy it was for you in the presence of someone you know has had multiple rounds of IVF is doing too much. And you and you already invited her. See, mm. that's the part where I'm stuck on. If if you were going to take the stance of, hey, I don't want to put her in an uncomfortable situation, maybe being at the baby shower. She maybe doesn't care. <laughs> she doesn't care about putting this woman in an uncomfortable situation. Yeah, you're right. like, you're let's, right. be, let's be honest. I feel like her, this might be projecting, so I'm going to go ahead and say it before people comment. <laughs> his projection but i don't think she cares about hurting this woman's feelings i think to her it's like get over it already mm. we've gone through this enough times with the sister with the sister-in-law and stop killing our vibe like i don't think she gets it yep and maybe at her age at 28 you're in the high season of a lot of people getting married having children mm -hmm. it, I think sometimes it's only maybe until you're a little bit older or you're in that season for a while where you start to talk to more people yeah and you're like oh it, it isn't just like a snap your fingers type type of thing where it just mm -hmm. happens for everyone so maybe it's a lack of exposure and experience yeah and I think on this one if I were her I would hold true to the invite because you already invited her I think to uninvite her mm, if you didn't want her to be there, you knew she, you know how she's been. Why did you invite her? That'll probably make her feel it even worse. And I wonder if there were mm. conversations that could have been had with her prior to this moment. If you guys have decided as a family, okay, we're not going to address it with her, then okay, you guys have decided to just accept it for what it is. There's no point in now excluding her. I agree with the mom. There's no mm -hmm. point in now excluding her. Yeah, let her I come. think that would make her feel even worse. And maybe she's still trying to navigate her feelings because I've heard from Absolutely. people who've had 
a similar experience where they're like, no, I want to be included. I don't, I don't want to feel isolated. I mm -hmm. already feel isolated. I'm trying my best to be happy for everyone and be yeah. present in the moment, but to not at least be given the opportunity to show mm -hmm. my gratitude and happiness for the experience for other people. Yeah. It makes them feel worse. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's hmm. y'all let us know in the comments. I, I don't think she should uninvite her. Listen to, I think she said it was her mom. Yeah. So she said she she is the also, what does the conversation look, look like with your brother? Because this is your sister-in-law. Hmm. Okay. Hey, did you, have you told your brother that you're thinking about uninviting his wife from the baby shower? <laughs> oh. Anyways, you guys let us know and we will go ahead and move on to the next scenario. Mm -hmm. All right. This one says, am I the a-hole for prioritizing my career over attending my stepbrother's wedding? I, 24 male, recently had a conversation with my dad and I explained that I likely won't be able to attend my stepbrother's wedding. I'm currently transitioning out of the army and have been offered an opportunity, an internship perfectly aligned with my career goals. This internship to hire promises industry certifications at no cost and provides an entry level wage of $35 an hour, well above the regional average. With certifications tailored for veterans and supported by my transferable experience, there's potential for significant salary negotiation. This opportunity is especially crucial as my wife is currently in nursing school, which will continue for the next two years. The conflict arose because the wedding dates coincide with my internship's training schedule. When I explained this to my dad, he insisted that attending the wedding was non-negotiable, emphasizing the importance of family above all else. While I deeply respect his perspective, I noted that I live far from the rest of my family, 15 hours, and lack a support system. I need to secure a stable job and build a future for my wife and myself, particularly now that I am the sole earner. Despite clarifying the legal obligations, the internship is my place of duty and attendance is mandatory according to military regulations. <laughs> I feel like I'm reading a, um, a pill body, you know, those pill commercials. <laughs> Um, my dad suggested I find a way to attend the wedding, even proposing I request leave from my superiors. However, this may not be feasible due to the structured nature of the internship program. Unlike my siblings, I live independently and manage all my expenses, making decisions that significantly impact our future. I firmly believe that my dad would understand the importance of this opportunity if he knew the specifics. Unfortunately, my dad sees my absence as a failure to prioritize family over career ambitions. While family is very important to me, I am the sole provider in our household, and I firmly believe my, wife need, my wife's needs must take priority. Securing a stable career and financial stability is crucial, not only for my personal fulfillment, but also for our shared future. I can see why I would be the a-hole placing my career over a wedding, but am I wrong to prioritize these responsibilities over attending my stepbrother's wedding? Absolutely not. I, I don't know. What? I, I don't think you're the a-hole. Yeah, you're in a unique situation time in transition. Mm -hmm. From what I've heard, it's a big transition going from being in the military to being a civilian. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as like getting your job placement. And as he says, he, he's on duty in mm -hmm. this transition into this next phase. So... This isn't even just, I don't feel like being there or. Right. Uh, yeah, it's, and to ask for a leave, from what my understanding, those are used for emergency yes. situations, but I don't, I don't know, don't quote me, but right. I always. You're in the military, people, you let us know yeah, in the comments. From because what I've we heard, it's like, oh, someone's passed away or like, it's a significant emergency that you, that's not planned for when a wedding is planned for, so. I don't think you're the a-hole. I think it's a conversation you may want to have with your, you said stepbrother? Yes. And because it seems like your dad is the third party. It's not his wedding. It's your yeah. stepbrother's wedding. So. But it's the, it's the stepson. So I'm, I'm assuming the mm -hmm. dad remarried mm -hmm. and this is his stepchild. And so right. he feels like, oh, mm -hmm. we need to represent at this event. 
You know, mm-hmm. here's the thing. If you miss out on this internship and then you're not able to secure a future for you and your wife, n- nobody's going to step in to financially support you. Mm-hmm. And so I think you're thinking about this properly just because it doesn't seem like you have many choices, which is why you're so enthusiastic about this. And not that you need many choices because it sounds like this is the choice that you would have mm-hmm. made anyway out of several choices. And so if you can't afford it, maybe come for like the day of the wedding and then leave. But 15 hours away is a long, Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a 15 hour drive or flight, but it just doesn't seem like there's enough financial stability. If your dad wants you to be there so badly, tell him to buy your plane ticket to come that day and leave later on that evening. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think it's, I understand your dad wanting to have support from that side, mm-hmm. but I also think assuming the stepbrother is an adult, this yeah. is a conversation where you would let them know ahead of time, this is the situation, mm-hmm. the dad has his feelings, it's his wedding, uh, and I don't, I think sometimes life just shakes out to where you are kind of in a, between a rock and a hard place in terms of timing, and it just is what it is. I don't. I, it doesn't sound like there's any malicious intent. vibes or intent. Yeah. I don't want to be there because I don't like you. It's, I don't want to be there because I will be working. And yeah. sometimes you do have yeah. to prioritize your career over social events. So even if he could take the flight out, it, depending on what day of the week this is, he probably genuinely just cannot make it if it's the same no. day. If he has to be at training all day and then there's the wedding, that's just not possible. I can't do it. If I were away, you know, if I were deployed somewhere, would you expect me to be there then? Treat this the same way. But there is an edit that I wanted to make sure I read. Mm, okay. Okay, so he said, I meant to say that I'm sure that my dad would understand the importance, which is what he has said. Uh, as for my mm-hmm. stepbrother, he simply said, if anything, you can cancel the internship. While I know he didn't mean it negatively, it shows me the, either the unwillingness or the incapability of my family to understand my priorities. I don't, I don't, what world do these? Maybe he comes from a wealthy family or something, so they can't relate to this is my livelihood. But he said he's the only one that's on his own. Yeah. And so if everyone lives close by and they have this close knit supportive community where they can lean on each other for different yeah. things, they don't understand the maybe the pressures that come with being away. Yeah. And all the responsibilities that come with that. Um and also I think this is just one event. You can't say that this one thing is going to represent how you yeah. feel about the relationship, your family. Yes. I don't know. It's well, sometimes is- families are like that. Families do that. They'll be like, Oh, because remember he didn't come to this thing. It's like that could be the one negative quote unquote thing that you've done, but they'll use that against you for the rest of your life. So, you know. Yeah, but I, I think and I know that families do do it, but I think sometimes it's just unrealistic. Yeah. To because okay, they they're gonna have this beautiful wedding day to look back on mm-hmm. and then you yourself may be anxious or it can set this anxiety and fear because mm-hmm. you took a risk. Nothing may not happen. You can go on with the internship and you're just fine or not. And then you're left to deal with the fallout of the consequences while they've moved on happily. So I don't know. I think it's it's a bit selfish of them to mm-hmm. put this pressure on you for one event in one Period. day. So. You guys let us know what you think in the comments. Again, if you're listening on a podcast platform and you enjoy this, please go ahead and rate us and give us a review. And if you're watching on YouTube, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and we will see you on our next video. Until next time, bye. Bye.